Welcome to our lecture online. Notice we have almost the very same example on the board as we had in the previous video with the one change that we have a 2x plus 6 instead of just a 2x between the two inequality symbols. So the question is, what do we do with the plus 6? Well, we want to isolate the x and the plus 6 definitely cannot be there. So one thing I could do is subtract a, a negative 6 from the plus 6 to make that 6 go away, but if I subtract a neg negative 6 of the quantity that's inside or between the two inequality symbols, I must do the same on the left side and I must do the same on the right side. In other words, it's going to look like this. Negative 4, 2x plus 6, 10. Notice I've left some space because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to subtract a negative 6 from here from here and from there. So just like with an equation where you need to do exactly the same on both sides of the equal sign, here you need to do exactly the same on the left side, the right side, and in between if there are two inequality symbols. Now we can simplify this as follows. Negative 4 and negative 6, that's minus 10, is less than, the 6's cancel out, 2x, which is less than 4. Now we can go ahead and divide all three quantities, the negative 10, the 2x, and the 4 by 2 to make this into a single x. So divide this by 2, divide this by 2, and divide this by 2, which now gives us negative 5 is less than x, which is less than 2, which means that's the solution. All the values between negative 5 and positive 2 satisfy the inequality, not including the endpoints. So on a graph, it would look as follows. We have a negative 5. We have a positive 2. Eh, we could put the 0 there. We draw little circles around the negative 5 and 2 because it does not include the endpoints and all values in between. And that is how it's done.